Peer hens, jumpster birds, chickens of all ages, bet here. Sorry if the camera's a bit shaky. I'm just like, I don't know what's happening at the moment. Okay, it's the end of 2016. Finally. I mean, how many people have died this year, celebrity wise? Like, huge idol celebrity wise. I mean, it started off with in, like, Alan, sorry, Alan. Started off with Alan Rickman and then ended with Carrie Fisher. Like, that. it's not been a year to be an idol. It's just not been a year to be an idol. Coming this year to a close, I thought I would record me opening my happy jar. I record, I spent all year, because last year I did have a huge mental down and I was just not coping with last year at all, I decided that in 2016 I'd make a happy jar and everything that I was happy about, or anything that made me happy, I'd put in this jar. It's not very full, <laughs> but I thought I would share it with you guys some of my happiest moments of this year and any memories I have that I do want to talk about um, anything that's personal I'm just going to not mention to you guys because hey it's personal but hey let's get this thing started but on the oh yeah 16th of the 12th there was a Daria sleepover and it I this was a happy moment because it reminded me that I do have friends that I can laugh with I'm sure everyone remembers the TV show Daria I will like do a little snippet of Daria and yeah we had so much fun on that sleepover. Next one, the 14th, the 24th of the 11th, best birthday ever. Loved every minute of this birthday. 24th of the 11th, it was the day after my birthday. Um, I just had probably the best birthday party I've had since I turned 17. <laughs> Cause for my 18th I let my mom choose the location and it was at a seafood restaurant and I don't like seafood. On my 19th my mom had her hens night. My 20th, all the wrong people got drunk. And on my 21st, my family and my fiance threw this huge surprise party. They invited so many people from like my friends in Canberra, my friends from my old acting school and high school. And the only people who showed up were my family and my fiance's friends. So it was like, I will always remember it. Like it was a fun surprise party. It was great to see my family again anyway. But the fact that none of my friends showed up and then none of them really said why they didn't come either yeah but no this year's party I had friends come over I actually had so much more fun than I have in so many years when it comes to my birthday so that's why that was there any next one the 17th of the 11th past term two of nursing I was really happy about that especially because recently I've been struggling a lot with the trimesters and nursing and everything so just passing the second trimester was great 17th of the 12th, five years since Harley asked me on a movie date, five years ago, 14th of the 12th, he was like, hey, do you want to watch a movie with me? And we never actually went to go see the movie because we couldn't find time in our schedules. And then I went to America for a few weeks. And then when I came back and it was then 2012, we finally go went to watch Sherlock at the time, um, which I fell asleep through because I was still recovering from jet lag. 27th of the 10th, Passed the medication calculation first shot. You need 100% to pass the medication test, and I passed first try. So I was pretty happy about that. I thought, like, I've always thought myself as not very smart, and having passed medications first try, I yeah, yeah, I was pretty happy about that. All right, 15th of the 8th. We're going back to August. 8th of August, yeah, yeah. Survived first day of aged care placement. Yeah, I was so so worried about aged care placement I was understand why I was happy about that. 23rd of the 7th, sisters come down to and dance to, oh my karaoke singing! My first music fans, I remember that. We went down to uh, Victor Harper in South Australia for my uncle's birthday and it was the first time my father ever heard me sing and it's the first time my sisters obviously heard me sing and they were throwing a huge ruckus being what kids are when they're like five and younger, throwing a huge ruckus and as soon as I started singing they'd stop, they would sit down, they would try and scooch close to, closer to me so you could get closer and I, it made me feel so great about myself. I loved it, the fact that my dad stopped like stopped hanging out with his family and came sat and watched me sing and he was and I remember him saying that it's the first time he heard me sing and he was really happy like he was really proud of me and he thought I sounded beautiful so yeah I, my first music fan my father and my sisters I'm happy with that next one the 23rd of the 7th oh yeah this goes with this one dad heard me sing for the first time was surprised and loved it goes on for the most previous one he did love me singing and really happy about that 27th 23rd of the 7th another one Flew down to Adelaide with Harley for my uncle's seven, uh, 40th birthday. 
he finally met my family because he's never been down to Adelaide to see my family before. It was great to have him see my dad's side of the family, not just my mum's side. This one's the 26th of 29th, 29th of the 6th. Got a new job at Daiso Japan. My job before Daiso was horrible. I loathed it. 15th of the 6th. Met so many new lovely people at an IKEA interview. Always going to remember, remember some of them like Joseph, the ringer in the red tie, and Valerie, the 69, the 1969 Asian babe. Unfortunately, I can't say that I do still remember those people. <laughs> I didn't get the job. 25th of the 12th, so Christmas. Christmas finally feels like we're a family. 17th of the 9th, dyed my hair blue. <laughs> you guys saw that vlog. I was so nervous about. It. I don't know if it came about in the video, but I was so nervous about doing something so different with my hair. I mean looking at it now, now that it's blonde you can see that like I haven't been able to get all the glue out but I really don't care at this point. 18th of the 5th, fed a joey kangaroo. Only took three pellets but it ate from me after being scared by a toddler. Now I went to a Lone Pine Koala Sanctuary with my partner with my fiance and there was a joey there. You're not supposed to feed the joeys because they are joeys and the mums are normally really protective. But he was terrified. The toddler had just scared him and I was just feeding the other kangaroos and he slowly came up to me. I didn't push it or anything. He slowly came up to me and just started sniffing my hands. I'm like, yeah, sure, okay, here's have some pellets. And he took some and then I imagine it was his mum because it was an older kangaroo and clearly female came up and I fed her the pellets as well. And it was great feeding a joey and the mum kangaroo and I just 25th of the 4th, finished halfway mark for second book to publish. Second book to publish. Oh, that's talking about outside. Yes, I finally have a name for my second book. This isn't talking about Sunrise, the one which I'm trying, which I've had a whole lot of kerfuffle about in the past, which I still, I'm starting to figure out what I'm going to do with it, but I'm still not 100% sure. But this is talking about my second book called Outside. I'm definitely going through a natural publisher for this one. I'm really excited for this one. I hope everyone enjoys reading it as much as I've enjoyed writing it. Like this one I've actually planned out so I hope it seems not as messy as I imagine Sunrise does. The 11th of the 1st, going way back to January, spent time with Deb and Ben. That time of the crew outing I was able to get to know two people a lot better because we were all kind of loners and Deb Debbie and Ben. I had fun hanging out with those guys. 10th of the 6th, all sunrise promotions photos taken. And you guys have seen some of those photos now. I'm really happy about that. Things are moving forward. And then they took like five steps back. Though so those sunrise photos are so great. The girls who modeled for me and the photographer were all so amazing people and I love them. And I still need to send emails out to the girls about that. Oh well, they will hear from me shortly in the next year, which is tomorrow, but shortly. <laughs> next one, the 12th of May, completed trimester one of my nursing course. Yeah, the 1st of the 4th, spent the night out with old classmates and actually had a little bit of fun. Learned that clubbing is not my thing. Yeah, so um, this year was probably the first year I actually went out clubbing clubbing with some old acting classmates and I did not have a lot of fun. I mean, I had fun, I, like I enjoyed hanging out with them, but I realized at that point that clubbing, not my thing. It was fun going out with them again and I do miss them a lot of the time, but yeah, okay, moving on. I did not date this one, but I know what it's talking about. This is 100% on nursing profession task 4A. I got 100% on a nursing thing and nobody else did and I was pretty happy about that. Like I was like yes I actually got 100% on something that I never thought I would and it was turn one so I was pretty happy about that. I need to keep reminding myself that that I'm good at this thing that I'm not sure if I still want to continue even though I'm almost done anyway. Okay this one 16th of the 3rd. Witnessed Maya Mayfield come to life in Caitlin Hill. Definitely a highlight of the year. Maya Mayfield's a character from my book Sunrise. Caitlin Hill is the actress who modeled her. That was the first of the modeling photos taken and I was so happy like actually meeting Caitlin and watching her bring Maya to life. It was so beautiful and so amazing and I actually felt like I was talking to my character and I'm like this is what JK Rowling must have felt when they were filming Harry Potter. 13th of the 3rd of the 3rd? Th 13th of the 3rd. Dyed hair light copper to try out a new look. Ended up looking like Claire's natural hair. Claire's my best friend as you may have seen her in other videos. 
uh, more specifically my 2015 Canberra vlog. 24th of the second, chopped all my hair off to a pixie, absolutely love it. You guys probably watched that vlog as well, where it was and then where it ended up and now that I've still got my short hair and I still love it, it's so handy, especially during summer when you just want your neck to breathe. 16th of the second, finally feel like I have friends again that will support me. These girls, Amber, Amber, Sarah, Courtney, Talia, Maddie, Brittany, Kat. Yeah, I've got to feel really bad if I've forgotten someone. Yeah, no, they, they, um, we all like sat together and talked to each other when we started nursing. And we've all seemed to stick together for, like, we've all seemed to stick around for each other. There are quite a few of them now that don't do the nursing anymore, but we've all tried to stick together as much as we can. Like, we still talk, we still hang out, and it's great to actually have friends like that. Fourth of the second. Deadpool equals best movie ever. <laughs> 21st of the first. Became qualified barista. Not that it helps me in any way. Oh, well, sorry. I keep looking at my collarbone <laughs> in the screen next to the mirror. It's a very... Especially when I do that. The fifth of the first. New gumboots! I'm obsessed. I love gumboots. I love gumboots. Or wellings, or wellingtons, or rain boots, or gumboots. Next one, the first of the first. Welcome to the new year with jokes, laughter, music, and friends. Yeah, no, especially because at that point I was feeling really lonely and I continued to feel really lonely for a while. So it was great to come into 2016 with friends and it seems like after this I'm going to a New Year's party, I'm going to be going, I'm going to be leaving 2016 with the exact same friends. So they've stuck around and I'm happy about that. Ninth of the first 2016 saw my stepsister for the first time in two years. Alright, the 15th of the first new game to enjoy. I don't actually know what that's talking about. 20th of the first got into nursing school. Pretty proud of myself that I got into nursing school. I, mean, I never thought I would. This one, what's this one? 25th of the second, first day of nursing school, met so many wonderful people, leading on to the whole friends of Amber and Sarah and Talia and Courtney. And it's been great. I love them all. This, this is the last one, guys. And there's a shell in there. There's a shell. I'll get the shell out later. But this last one, the 30th of the first, moved into new house with the fan. This shouldn't actually be the last one because I've noticed that there are stuff that I wish were in here that wasn't like how I found out that I'm moving house and that's really exciting for me that I'm finally moving out of my family home. I'm actually, you know, slowly becoming an adult. Can't think of any other happy moments. I'm gonna take the shell out and tell you guys a story about the shell. See, the shell is Harley and I went location scouting. And the fact that he came with me for that is amazing. I love him for it forever. He came location scouting with me for my final character, Rosalind. We had to go to like four different beaches to see which one was more appropriate. And this was one of the shells I picked up at one of the beaches, just as a little memorabilia for it. And yeah, it's a pretty shell. Look at the shell. Alrighty, so that's my happy, happy memories of 2016. I'm sure there were other loads of happy memories that I just forgot to put in. But yeah, I'm hoping that 2017 will have a lot more happy memories. Do I have any New Year's resolutions? I think for my New Year's resolutions, I want to sing more and I want to write more. I want to be, well, there we go. I want to be more creative and, and I'm just want to boost my confidence a little bit. I think that will be enough New Year's resolutions for me. Be more creative and be more confident in myself. That'll do, won't it? Yeah, I think that'll do. <laughs> Alrighty guys, that's it for this year. Have a happy new year. Enjoy 2017. So that'll be it for this video. Happy New Year's guys. See you all in 2017. Bye bye.